We are back at the brook today. It is mid-March 2020 and back at the little brook in the woods in a small little main town looking for 12,000 year old seashells in the little brook. And it looks like I found a nice scallop shell. Yes, it's a whole one. Oh, look at that. That is a complete whole one. And they are 12,000 years old. This video is not a setup to gain attention. This is real. And you'd never know it, but 12,000 years old. When the sea receded, and it left this stuff in this... Uh, formation there's a clay here uh, I believe it's called the Presumpscot formation and again this is 12,000 years old and it's a whole one a lot of times I get broken ones that's a nice specimen right there I'll be taking that home nice again we're about uh, 15 or 20 air miles my best guesstimate from the uh, open ocean in the bay and uh, when I say air miles a straight line of course from point A to point B from where we're located from the ocean nice now let's see what else we can find yeah, there's a nice little one with ridges on it underneath that little fir branch in the water That's a whole one. I oh, don't know. A little bit busted. You can see she's got a drill hole in her from some sort of tiny whelk that fed on it. That's what that little hole is at the top. It's a drill hole. There's a piece over here. No, those are just busted pieces. Piece of barnacle, I think. There. These are 12,000 years old, plus or minus, Pleistocene, late Pleistocene. Two little finds there. There's a half a one from the looks of a barnacle. Big one, too bad it's not whole. Take what we can get though. Eh, so looks like a half a one. Nice though, you can see where it attached to the substrate. And that would be half of the house where the animal lived inside. Still a nice interesting piece, even though it's broken in half. That's nice. That pattern underneath right there, that's really nice. That's cool. Good one. Good find. Just found a whole one. Man, this is a first for coming here off and on for so many years. Found a first whole barnacle. 12,000 year old barnacle. That's a nice one. Wow. That's nice. Usually you find this bottom piece right here, but this has got the walls up. The surrounding walls up to it where the animal was inside. That's nice. A lot of the viewers, they're like, yeah, yeah, you see one shell, you've seen it all. But these, I, I find it exciting because as old as they are, you know, and they're out in the middle of the woods. I mean, Okay, here's the woods. We're out in the middle of the woods. Look at this. And you're getting marine stuff. Marine, ma marine related shells, species, in the middle of the woods, in a little brook. That's what I find exciting about it and fascinating. 
All right, as we continue the journey, there's one right there, a whole one. I'll be grabbing that one if I don't sink out of sight in here. pieces of oh a bone is that modern or is that Pleistocene what the frig oh we'll have to find out to get that looked at wow that's the first time I've seen bone in here Holy cannoli, I'm excited. I hope that's prehistoric. Uh, two pieces, two more pieces of barnacles and another shell next to it. Well, maybe I can find some more bone in here. It's a nice little one. Hopefully it's a whole one under that leaf. Yeah, she's a whole one. That's a nice little one. And there is something I have never seen before in all the years I've been coming here off and on. Apologize if I have an accent where I don't sound my R's. We don't sound our R's up here in Maine. That's a nice freaking specimen. Oh, look at that. That's a nice one there. That's my first one there. That looks like some sort of periwinkle or something. That's nice. Or maybe a Maybe a prehistoric moon snail. Seriously. No, that sounds kind of dramatic saying that. But yeah, looks like a baby moon snail or something. Instead of a periwinkle. That is nice. That's a nice find. I'd rate that up there with the uh, scallop shell I just found. Down the creek. That's nice. There's one. By that branch in the water. Looks like it's get the branch out. Looks like it still has uh, some of its material covering. Like if it was still alive. Some of the brown on it. Wow. Only find these once in a great while with the uh, that brown covering on over the shell. It's amazing what uh, all that clay can do to preserve for all those thousands of years. Good little one right there. Piece right there. Purplish. Still got its color. Almost like a mother of pearl color. I guess that's what you call it. So see what's going on here. Like in my other film, I filmed this when I was a little bit younger is we're down to the clay layer here. You can see the bluish clay, Pleistocene clay, and all the way up to the top of the ravine. That's all gravel that was laid down afterwards. So obviously you go down, 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 down. It gets older and older layers. You get down to this mud. This was at the bottom of the ocean being laid down, deposited. De Depositional sediments, I believe. Not trying to sound like uh, a know-it-all or anything. Just trying to explain it as best as possible for for the viewers. That's better up there. There you can see the ridge up there, all the way down here where the brooks cut in over over the years, and then down to the good stuff. There's pieces of it everywhere in here. So, all right, yeah, another little piece of barnacle. Alrighty, moving right along, folks. Here is all the uh, barnacles that were found today. This one here is a good one. That's a good double right there, even though it's broken half. Well, not all the barnacles, but the rest of one, the rest of the barnacles, besides the nice ones that I uh, found, the nicer ones. There's that piece of bone. 
here's all the shells. So, and again, here's the little moon snail. And here's the whole barnacle. The whole one. And the other good half one looks like it broke in half on the way home, so I'll have to glue that together. But pretty good haul today. Oh, yeah. Forgot. I almost forgot the scallop. Big old scallop. And there we go.